Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Farmer Jolly and this is our Let's Play series on Court Farm. You join us bright and early on an August morning where we're just finishing getting the straw off our final field. I think it's going to be quite a busy day again today. Uh, just checked the cattle before I came back over to finish the baling off and they, they're looking alright, they've produced quite a lot of slurry so it might be we have to get, think about getting a slurry tanker or spreader soon but for now they're absolutely fine and like I say we've just got to, got to finish this field and then we've got three fields that need cultivating and uh, four that need seeding so it's going to be a busy day. Um, we'll have to, have to have a look and see what we're going to plant as well. But obviously we'll need to do that before we start planting. Um, could look at potentially doing something a bit different like corn or something. I know we've not got the header for that yet but we can get that easily enough or even lease it. <coughs> see we so. We'll put this into a time lapse and we'll get this field done. It hopefully won't take too long. It's not a massive field. We're on the on the second headland already. So without further ado, I'll put this into a time lapse and I'll see you once we've collected all of the straw bales. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back from that time lapse. As you saw, there were a few little uh, mishaps where I would forget that the bailer was full and go over and then have to reverse. But apart from that, I think it went all right. We've got a fair amount of bales off this field. And I think I probably said it in the last episode as well. I don't think we're going to need any straw bales for a while. Um, Having said that, we don't know really at the moment how many the cows are going to get through in a day or in a month. Um, but for now, we've got quite a lot. Hopefully we'll have just enough with the little bits around this field just to get that 2%. I was also having a think during that time lapse. We've got a big field that's not marked out as a field 
back at home farm, which is currently full of grass. Let's just uh, turn this off and fold it up while we're talking. My thoughts were, we'll get the bale trailer, we will load up all these bales, and take them back to home farm. We'll have a quick look at how much a sheep enclosure is going to cost. Because I think with the sheep, we can put grass or hay in, and then we'll get wool. And that might be a good one to just have in the corner, keep an eye on them, and hopefully it will earn us some more income. So we've also got to get the silage, <laughs> our silage bales back, uh, which we will try and do in this episode. And I believe our bunker silo from the extra forage that we had from a contract is fermented, which is really good to hear. So we will soon have a long list of equipment that we will need to buy, including the feed mixer, a slurry tanker, milk tanker, um, I think that's it off the top of my head. Oh, that's not very good. I'm on the wall. One that we're going. No, I'm not on the wall. Let's try that again. Let's go there. There you go, that's a bit better. I think I was on the wall. So, what we'll do is we'll grab the front loader. I just dropped it off so we could bail easily. There we go. Spin back round and grab the bale trailer. And go and get these bales collected. Hope this shouldn't take us too long. We, if you watched the previous episodes, <coughs> excuse me, you will know we uh, had to had to give up trying to load the bales manually, unfortunately, just because I kept making so many mistakes. We just don't have the ability to load normally, but yeah, it was uh, it was bad. All the bales that we had loaded went everywhere so we we bought this and hopefully it's not in the right place I think that's this size We'll go with that. So this won't take us too long at all. We're just able to just drive, drive past them all. That's not centralised. We'll get that a bit more central. There we go. That looks a bit better. So we'll get drive past all of these bales, collect them all. They they should all fit on this trailer and we will head back to home farm if I don't hit the bales out of the way oh, yeah these will fit on really easily there's only a handful left I think we will end up going on to the second line though just for one bale There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to try and lift. There we go. Let's get the beacons on. 
I will see you once we're back at the big farmyard. Once I've got out of this gate. I think I'm stuck on the gate. Yes, we are. It's coming. I'm nearly out. There we go, we're out. Let's get back onto the track and move the camera back around. So, I will see you once we're back at the other farm. Right, so we just dropped the bales off in the shed. As you can see, the cows are producing manure nicely. I think this is the manure unload point. So, there we go, you can see in the bottom right corner, they've got just under 75,000 litres of food. They've not made any milk yet, but they've also still got... Oh, they've used a lot of straw. <laughs> Uh, they've got 14,200 litres of straw and they've already produced 31,000 or nearly 32,000 litres of slurry. So if we just have a quick look, you can see it in there, starting to fill up. What I was thinking on the way over is thinking more on the sheep situation. I'm just wondering if there's a field on this farm or connected to this farm that can take sheep so this can take some animal Ooh, we could lease it I've got in the back of my head that there's a field this side that takes animals, it's just that one and is it this one? No. There's another field somewhere around this area that takes um, pigs. But I've just thought of an idea. If I go back onto... Where's my farm? Over here. This is behind the farm. I don't know how we get anything to it. But it's a nice little uh, hideaway. What we can do is we can actually look at the auto drive routes because that will say what everything is. So that's just grass, cows, sheep, sheep wool load point, sheep water, sheep food, sheep buy. So if we head towards I think it was around this sort of direction. Yeah. So this is the sheep field. We will have to get water for them. But that might be... Let's have a quick look. Let's jump into the build menu. Nope, that's the shop. One of these days I'll get the right button. There we go. So if we have a look at animals, sheep. So we'll be looking... We'll go for the bigger one. I think it just depends on what style we want. This one probably would fit better with the... Uh, farm and it would have to go somewhere around this sort of area so that would be 98,000 ish or that's 62,000 to buy how much is it to lease? It's filled farmland 108. Let's find 108 on here. £2,600 per day. Have we got any grass bales yet? We've got enough silage, but we could, I think, let's have a quick look. I think if we turn grass on, that's ready to be harvested. So we could really easily 
get some hay bales and then we can feed I don't know where we get water from that's the only thing we need water and I don't really want to have to buy it but I think we might have to we'll have a think but that's probably our best option uh, ooh, it's so tempting alright anyway for now we need to get the rest of the fields well, we'll get the rest of them all cultivated we should probably check that oh no it will crash into the wall that's what we'll do so, so we should probably check if any of them needs to be ploughed so we've got 59 61 73 70, oh, sorry, not 73 uh, 74 and 75 we're not doing field 73 So one of our fields needs needs to be ploughed. See how much a plough would cost, and actually how much what horsepower we've got. So this is one hundred and eighty-five, and this has two hundred and thirty-five. Is there anything in the in in the offers section? No. Unfortunately, nothing that would be of any use to us right now. 310, 320, 410, 190. Ooh. That might be a good one. What cultivator do we have at the moment? We've got a 4 metre cultivator and a 9.8 disc harrow. But we don't have a plough. We'll leave the plough for now. Because it seems a bit silly when we've got so so much that we'll do that already. I was going to have a quick look at a roller. roll them but for now we use, use the masses we're in that but we will grab the disc I think it's the disc arrow and head back to the other farm and get these fields done so I will see you once we've made a start with the cultivating. Oh, let's try and uh, go the correct way this time. Um, actually, we'll put this into time lapse because it shouldn't take us too long. And we've obviously we've not used the disc harrow. What have I hit there? Don't know. Um, We've not used the disc on these fields, so it's something a little bit different. I know we've used it before, that was on the JCB, so hopefully we don't have the issue that we had at the start of using it. So I'll put this into a time lapse and I will see you once we're doing the last field. I will see you in a bit, if I can get there in one piece. Hopefully we can. I'll see you in a bit.
welcome back from that time lapse. As you can see, we've got one of the three fields ready to go. We now just need to get out of the gate without crashing. I think this is a little bit big. I'm going to have to just go straight. There we go. So now if I spin around. that there, there we go, we should get this. We will just really quickly nip back to the yard and refuel the tractor. It might be easier to actually just leave the... Yeah, we'll, that's what we'll do. We're just going to detach the... Let's push it back a bit because I went way too far. There we go. Let's refill the tractor with fuel and add blue. So there we go, add blue is done. And fuel just takes a little bit longer, but it's been a productive uh, episode. A lot to think about whether we go for there we go, we done. Whether we go for the sheep field or the um, build our own. One thing I've I've seen a couple of times this episode is it looks like there's something in this field. So just going to have a quick run over and check that I've not done anything silly and dropped or left something lying about. It does say there's a piece of equipment here. How has the pallet ended up here? What on earth has happened there? <laughs> right, let's jump into the telehandler. We'll go and get that. <laughs> I think we'll call it there for this episode. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that was very close. I have no idea what's happened, how that's got over there. That's ridiculous. And I need to figure out how to get into this field. Because that's so we're getting to field 53. Let's have a quick look. Um, field 53. It looks like I'm going to come down to the road and then in. All right, let's get driving. So I will go and collect this pallet. <laughs> but in the meantime. Thank you very much for watching the episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, it would mean a lot if you could consider liking the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Like I say, I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'm having a lot of fun making them, which need to improve on my driving skills, which hopefully with more time <laughs> we will improve. Um, but anyway, thank you again for watching. And hopefully we will see you back for the next episode. Bye for now.